the 1950s, Jonas Salk, the virologist who developed the vaccine for polio, was asked on television who owned the patent to the vaccine. His reply was life-changing. The, the people, I, I would say, there is no patent. This is, could you patent the sun? <laughs> Today, in the new century, we face a different threat, but it also requires science and humanity. The hashtag people's vaccine is seeping into the soil of social media. It's a movement led by UNAIDS and Oxfam that demands COVID-19 vaccines, treatments and diagnostic tests are available to all. The leaders of South Africa, Senegal, Pakistan and Ghana are amongst over 150 politicians, experts and elders who've unified in a call for a vaccine that's available to all in all countries and free of charge. Solidarities in laboratories around the world offers hope that a vaccine will be developed and in a shorter period than the 5 to 10 year time frame it can often take. But some countries are staking individual claims, saying that because they funded, researched or developed a vaccine, their people should be first in line to benefit from it. COVID-19 has demonstrated that only taking care of your own, your own people, your own countries, your own borders is not adequate in a pandemic that is global and in a world that is globalized. We already live in a world of gaps, income gaps, social gaps. A vaccine gap will carve up the world even more acutely and the ones who'll suffer most will again be the ones living in less developed nations. Winnie Bianyima, who leads UNAIDS, puts it this way. People who are sick, she says, from COVID-19 or otherwise, should not have to check their pocket before they seek help. There are others who align in that spirit. French President Emmanuel Macron says human health cannot be quarreled over, cannot be appropriated and cannot be bought and sold. Norway's Prime Minister Erna Solberg has committed a billion dollars to Gavi, the global vaccine alliance, to accelerate development of a vaccine. And at the World Health Assembly, China made a promise. Any vaccine it develops and deploys will be offered as a global public good, as a contribution to ensuring vaccine accessibility and affordability in developing countries. China, Norway, Italy, France, Germany and other countries are building an approach that aligns with the people's vaccines call for equality and compassion. They imagine a world in which where you were born or how much money you have does not determine whether you live or die. And that, I think, was the imagination of Jonas Salk, who because of his heart, as much as his scientific skills, improved the human condition and secured the global future. He was right, no one owns the sun, and no one can stamp a price tag on our lives. A vaccine against COVID-19 offers a template in a broken world where helping, not hoarding, and sharing, not segregating, will be the achievements that confident governments aspire to. We strive for that day together. I'm James Chow. Stay healthy and stay happy. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.